Hi, this is Thomas from Blocky.io. Blocky.io is an online platform for flow-based programming. The point of flow-based programming is that you do not code like in a conventional programming language. Instead, you rather combine blocks of functionality into a flow describing your program visually, enabling you creating advanced web applications really easy. So, I would like to show you how to create a very simple service using Blocky.io. We're going to do a service that takes an input string from the URL, um, splits it into an array, reverses that array, and then joins it back together to a string again with a different delimiter in reversed order. So I start out with creating a service. For a service to be accessible from the outside, it needs what we call a public entry. I will give it a name and I will come back to uh, what is, uh, how we use this name. And uh, this service is going to be over the HTTP protocol. That's why I connect this HTTP adapter here. So we will split what comes in as a query on the get method. And we're actually going to be quite verbose now and iterate over this array instead of just uh, taking a block that reverses the array immediately. And uh, for starters, we're going to build up the same array again in the same order through this iteration because th this iterator block sends out for every element in the array, it will send out data on the iteration output. It will come, come down here, then we'll, it will propagate back up again. And the result will come on this output. That is where we put our join. The, when we split, we split on underscore as the limiter. And when we join back, we use underscore again in this case. So I'm gonna give this a name. The service will be called test31. I will save it and now I can run it or I can run it in debug mode. I'll just run it in normal mode for now. So I'll open a uh, new tab. So now we're going to access this service from the outside. And this is the username that is running the service. This is the service name, and remember that this was the name of the public entry to this service. You can have many public entries in one service. So, service name and the public entry name. We will just send in something, uh, a simple string here. Alpha, beta, gamma, sorry, gamma. Okay, there we go we get back the very same string. So I'll stop this. I will change the delimiter to a new line. We save it, we run it again, we refresh this. Okay, so we got kind of the same string, but it's uh, it has a different delimiter now. And now we will actually reverse the order of these elements. So we replace the uh, push with array insert. So pushes, push uh, appends an element to array while insert inserts the element at the beginning of the array. So that is how we will get uh, the reverse order. Start it, start it as usual. I run it. You see alpha, beta, gamma, reload. Gamma, beta, alpha. Very good. So now we actually did reverse the order, but now we also want to reverse the actual elements of the array. So we can use a string, uh, string uh, reverse. So in between here, we're going to put 
a string reverse. I'll just stop it before I save it. <clears throat> yes, so now our service is getting uh, having more functionality. So maybe I will be interested in actually debugging it now to see how it behaves at each port, what happens in this flow. So I will start this service in debug mode like this. And then here we get a list of, of, uh, of flows that are either active now that I can debug now or dead flows that I can go back and look at what data they, that I have on this flow and so on. So I'm gonna immediately put this in pause mode. And that, then I'm gonna refresh this one. And you can see nothing happens yet. This one is loading and waiting for us because this flow is halted here. And when I can step this, I will step it there, step it. Now we can see for each port, I can actually see the current data. This is coming downstream. I can see that the query is alpha, beta, gamma. Absolutely. So I'll step it again. I'll step it over this the string split. Okay, let, let's see. On this import, we have alpha, beta, gamma coming downstream. On this output coming downstream, we have a list, alpha, beta, gamma, three elements. So I'll just step this again. We're stepping inside the iterator block. The iterator block will, for each element in the list, it will send it on the iteration port. So we can see on this import, iteration source, alpha, beta, gamma. And we can see on this out port, iteration key zero, iteration value alpha. That is the first element. So we count the string reverse, and we can see that the interesting data here is string, and that's alpha. So I'll, I will step over string reverse. So we can see now string is the reversed alpha. Step to arrow insert. I'll just step one more time. And now the, the flow uh, turns around and goes upwards. Now it's going upstream. It's bubbling upwards now because nothing was connected to this output. So I can see what did I have coming downstream to this. For us, the interesting thing was string alpha. I'm coming upstream. We now have a list with one element, and that is alpha. So this is gonna do, this is gonna keep uh, iterating for all our elements. So it's gonna go back down again here uh, in the iteration uh, loop here. But I don't want to step through all that. So I'm gonna put a breakpoint on this import here. And I'm gonna put it, this is for going downstream, but I'm gonna put it on coming upstream again. So that is when the flow has gone down in this block, uh, turn around and start bubbling upstream here. So I will play this and you can see the flow is going here. Yes, one more time. We had three elements there, there, coming on the outport, coming back up. I can see downstream we had our list, gamma, beta, alpha in reverse. And coming, uh, uh, coming up, this is the upstream. We can see we have a string. It's joined back together, gamma, beta, alpha in reverse. So I'm gonna play this. Just gonna let it play, play, play. I can actually pause it anywhere. I just pause it there. Coming upstream here, I can see what I expect here. Body, this is the body, gamma, beta, alpha. So this one is still waiting for the return. This is the old data here. So I'm gonna play this to the end. We'll just see what happens here. There we go. We got the gamma, beta, alpha, reverse order of strings and the array is also reversed. Yeah, so that's uh, that's how you can debug stuff. Um, and here, uh, yeah, you can see uh, different flows. So like if I, if I refresh this one, I'm gonna have another flow here. Uh, I'm gonna switch back to this flow. Look, what did I have in this flow? 
and I can switch to this flow to see how it's behaving right now. Okay, so uh, if you like this and you think that this is going to be uh, useful for you, go to our crowdfunding campaign on indiegogo.com and back us. Thanks.